No, tonight's film is an encore presentation of Gamera versus uh, Hero. 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 Hick. I, I, well, well, that's I not how you say it. it. It's Giron. It's not a Greek it's, sandwich. It's, it's Hiran. Hiran. Hiran and the Masters of the Puniverse. It's not an yeah. encore presentation. It's, it's a rerun. Umnonia. It's a rerun. Watch it, though, because it's hilarious. It's just a movie. Hilarious. Yourself, it's just a movie. Better than 60 Minutes. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. The worst ever made. Joe says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end. It's because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends. Robot roll call camera. Servo. Tipsy. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts, just to get yourself, it's just a show. I should really just relax. For mystery science theater 3000. Everybody, welcome to the Satellite of Love. It's Mystery Science Theater 3000, and uh, it's our sixth week in a row showing uh, uh, Gamera films. But we're hoping that uh, we're going to get news from on Earth. The scientists that shot me into space, Earhart and Forrester, are going to give me news otherwise. You know, Joel, you made us, and it's kind of hard to believe that you just brought us into the world to watch crummy turtle movies. Yes, with all my parts, I could have made an excellent vacuum cleaner. Instead, it's the movies that suck. Hey, Pro, now <laughs> just take it easy. We're going to be online with the scientists any second now, so uh, just take it easy and be polite. Hello, Jolly Polly guy. I hope you don't mind, but we've taken the liberty of changing the directional coordinates on your ship, and you'll be passing directly through a meteor shower any moment now. <laughs> don't forget to wash behind your ears. <laughs> Get an ear <laughs> shower. <laughs> <laughs> Real funny. Hilarious. Hey, Dr. Uh, Forrester, Dr. Earhart, how much longer is this Gamron stuff going to go on? What's the matter, you tan-suited space weenie? You got a problem with poorly acted nonsensical Japanese movies with rubber-suited turtle monkey actors in them? Listen to me, booby. Turtles are going to be big. Big! Really big. Big! Now, we've gone through flamingos, Scotty dogs, dinosaurs, and their ilk. Ilk? Ilk, yes. Uh, remember those troll dolls and that uh, that foam stuff you had as a kid? Yeah, crazy foam. Yes. Crazy foam. And, and Smurfs and Fuzzy ones. You know, the soap that grew hair out of it. <laughs> that was great. Our soap always had hair on it. Ooh. Did you ever take your, your sister's Barbie doll and go up to the attic and, uh... Excuse me, sirs. Don't excuse me, you overinflated skin bag of chemicals and mostly water. Now listen up. We don't have any more Gameron films for you. So we've compiled a list of new movies. Yes, and unfortunately it's a pretty good list, too. Let's see, Star Wars, 2001 A Space Odyssey, E.T., Jaws... Oh, look, Ishtar. Ishtar? No, uh, Ishtar on my shoe. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> camera versus gear on it's perfect. <laughs> ah, camera, quick, put it in the deck. I said deck, put it in the deck. <laughs> now listen up, jolly boy. If you get any more ratings like last week, you're going to be in trouble. Remember, your rocket engines are controlled by ratings. If you don't shape up, you're going to find yourself swimming in the Indian Ocean. Without a paddle. <laughs> Without a paddle. I got him on the paddle. <laughs> Dickweeds. A robot's got to say what a robot has to say. Dickweeds. Hey, That's now come on. Are. Hey, let's. Oh, we better watch it. Here comes movie sign. Let's get uh, out of here. <laughs> The 
there are 100 billion fixed stars in galactic space. There are also 3 billion nebulae in the crocosm. Each is as big as galactic space. Old stars explode and scatter as gas. From there, new stars form from the scattered gas again. Makes me feel so small. What secrets are hidden it's in these countless stars? Stupid. Among these stars, one of them is in trouble. I feel like a puppet of the cosmos. One of the stars is in trouble. It's you. It's another gamma ramp film. <laughs> They never took the time to actually tell who they were playing before. Night of the Condo. I didn't know he won Condo. I heard Don Ho did the music for this. Don Ho Hum. 1979. That's Gamera's flesh right there. He's got a pimple right up there. I'd pop it if I could. Fumi Takahashi, he's famous for getting mad a lot. Fumi. Oh, Kituchi is brilliant. Akira Kitazaki. That's Akira is Kitazaki spelled backwards. That much is a meal. Astronomical observatories from all over the world caught an amazing wave. It sounds like an irregular wave that might have been sent from outer space. Is this entire film still photos? It's just very slow animation. It's fun to take. Take your friends. Photograph them, too. They're taping each other. Right now, the waves have stopped. However, we cannot confirm yet if they are messages from the spacemen or not. Dr. Shiga, the same electric waves were caught in England uh, last year accordingly. Are they the same one? No. That was different. The one before was from beyond the solar system, we think. But this one is very much nearer, according to our calculations. Very much nearer? Does that mean people on solar are the same system planet? No, that's hard to say. You have that ready? There's no air or water on the moon, so no living thing inhabits it, as you know for sure. For and sure. There are totally no rivers on Mars. And on Venus, it has several hundred degrees centigrade. And on Uranus? And the surface of Jupiter is covered with Slow. frozen ammonia. He's slow, isn't Saturn he? Saturn is also the same. Spit it out, no man. No advanced vertebrates there, of course. So, what do those waves mean? It means we're going to Disneyland. They come from... To see Pluto. Proxima Centauri, which is nearest to us. How long will it take Apollo, one of the newest spaceships, as you know, how long will it take us to get there, do you think? How long will it take you to finish this speech? 500,000 years. Oh, no. That's a long speech. Gentlemen, right now, he pauses we a receive lot. an invitation from the spacemen, His shorts are we too can't tight. meet them unless they come. And it's only a dream yet for everybody. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Tell me, are there spacemen? Sure, there are spacemen, or those waves wouldn't have come. Oh, good, more little turtle movie maggots. I see something funny flying. What? Huh? Hey, it's a white kid. Look. What the? What is it? The telescope. I hope it's one of ours. What is it? Um, I think it's made by Tasco. Tom, it's a spaceship. What? what? 
Huh? It's Zegron. He's coming back. Akio, let me look too. No, no, let me look first. That's all luck. My Akio, let me look too. Not bothering me. This is kind of like a flying Denny. Uh huh. But I can't see it. It came down near the river. Akio, come on, let's go. I hope they have the breakfast special. Okay, let's go. Take me too. It's the Robinson family. That looks like a Howard Johnson's. A Bridgman sign. Looks like a salad spinner. Yeah. Akio! Akio! Oh, it's Mother. We won't get Akio. scolded again. Oh, we're in trouble. Listen. Now, I thought you were studying. But looking at the stars again, huh? Mother, what are you doing with that muskrat around your neck? You imagine it. Don't stay up late. You too, Tom, if you want to stay. You better listen to me. Yes, ma'am. But we want to watch the stars every night to... I know. You want to find new stars and name them Akio and Tom stars. Am I not right? That's not all. Some of the papers said waves were caught from the outer space. Systematically, too. It might have been the spaceman that they heard. That's why we've been trying to find which stars. They may be very civilized up there, more than we are here on Earth. With no wars or traffic accidents. And we'd never know that. I doubt it. There's no such star. Behavior, I'll take away your telescope. Everyone talks with the pause. No dreams. I think I'll start too. Come on, no more foolishness. Go to bed. Yes, yes mother. mother. Tomorrow? That's not your mother. Okay. We're having beef macaroni. Oh no, it's made from macaroni. Believe in camera. We believe in camera. We're having beef macaroni. Stop! Stop! What happened? The spaceman came. Silly, he's worse than a spaceman. Hey, his shovel came apart. <laughs> Work up a sweat swinging that stick. One of the great Japanese comedians, folks. Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> Good idea. Cool. <laughs> Have you seen my personality? Huh? Oh, thank you. Come here, Hanky. Come on. Okay. Surrender, Dorothy. Ah, it's those kids again. Hey, wait. Those damn That's meddling it. kids. Stop. 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 What's this? And you come back too. Officer. It's all right. Because my name is Kondo. Obey the laws. Two persons are not allowed to ride on a bike. I'm sorry, because we're in a hurry. What do you mean? This early morning. I see. I think you're up to something again, as usual. That's not true. We are going to find a spaceship. Oh, good. Spaceship? Yes. Don't be silly. We saw it last night. It's true. It came down by the riverside. I see, I see, I see. Look at the eyebrows on I'll that tell guy. You what. Remember, the next time it's if you are Groucho naughty Marx again, eyebrows. I'll shave your head. Yeah. Remember? I Groucho's pissed. Okay. Now he take doesn't this need back. them anymore. You can go now. But walk, walk. Yes, sir. That's good. Kind of looks like a Chinese Pee Wee Herman. Oh, good. We need another one. Pee Wee right, Herman. Kids are 
did say the darndest things, you know that? And in foreign languages. You know what their little childlike minds are dreaming up now? Here's a soundtrack we can all buy. Sounds like the Jeopardy music. Bob, Bob. You should have phrased the movie in the form of a question. Maybe it's a spaceman. Oh. Kill it, kill it, kill it. What? It's only a rabbit. It's cute. Let me catch it. A killer yeah, rabbit. Yeah, you idiot. She's too fast. Come on, let's go. It's got fangs like this in a mean streak a mile wide. It's a blue screen. Aren't you scared of the spacemen? You fool. The spacemen are well civilized, and they won't make such a trouble. Sure. Don't be so dumb. That guy with the fur collar is kind of effeminate, isn't he? No. Don't think that they understand our language. Big fashion faux pas. Fur collar and shorts. I wonder what happened to the crew. I think they went out for a while. Oh boy, that's great. Hey, it's working. Imagine traveling in this. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's great. Now for the countdown. Stand by for takeoff. Okay. Stop, wait, Five, come back. Three, two, Darn one, poor zero. kids. Brother! Oh, brother. brother! Oh, man. Brother! That's Grand Theft Spaceship. Brother! Uh, my name's Ron Howard. I'm in Grand Theft Spaceship. Oh, no. Moving. We're in trouble. Stop it. Gonna take the rap when the spacemen come. Look, light bulbs. We're in space already. Millions of them. Greg Bush has been here. There's absolutely no weightlessness in here at all. It must be a superior spaceship. Hmm. Better than our old spaceship. What's that? They're here. Watch out, it'll hit us. It'll hit us. Akio, change course. Ow. No, I can't change course. We'll get hit. Close your eyes. Maybe they'll miss us. Look, it's Yamara. Thank goodness. Woo. Boys. 
shouldn't be afraid now because we're with Gamera. Right, because Gamera is our friend. Right, it's awfully fast. Is it Mach 3? No, that's not right. It's overspace speed. Even Apollo 8, the moon rocket, was Mach 33. I see. That surprised me. We leave the solar system at Mach 50. Let's go, Gamera! Gamera! We're racing for pink flames, says Gamera. <laughs> I'll be waiting to get your shell. Yeah. He's the one that's full of spice. He's the one that's full of spice. He's the one that's full of beef. He's the one that's really neat. Ah, two, big, 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 nothing. Camera. It's a small turtle after all. Is a small turtle after all. I have no depth perception. He seems like a normal sized turtle to me. I believe in Gamma. The top servo singers. <laughs> Do you think they're both as basic as going? Gamma pulls ahead. He's going to have trouble rocking that far turn, though. Oh, he banks it beautifully. It's high on the wall. Those kids look kind of flat. Headbutt. Giant turtle oh, headbutt with the ship. Gamera! I don't think you can hear that. Gamera, what happened? We're kibble. Maybe he's trying to stop us from going too far out to outer space. Maybe he looks like a sausage fatty to him. I wonder what happened. Gamma can't follow our speed. Look at the speed meter. It's getting faster all the time. I wonder why it's getting faster. Because of remote control, I guess. Well, we must have taken Evelyn Woods. Why does the Japanese kid always know what happened and the American kid is so dumb? The speed reader is getting fast. Um, keep it up! Most of our viewers watching do. this on the Sony Maybe TV. The old camera, the old spinning camera is back. That's just the deep space set on a camera. Looks like a turtle pizza. Mother! Mother! My, my, and such pasta. a loud voice. Where were you without my permission? Mother, it's about a big trouble. Did Akio tease you again? No, Akio and Tom went in a spaceship, Mother. Don't tell me such a silly story like Akio and Tom. It's true. We found a spaceship near the river, and they went inside. It lit up suddenly, and... I see. Bazoom. Akio's up to something again. What's Please, she sweeping tell up? tell me something. Don't you believe in spaceships and spacemen, you know? No, All the adults I in this don't. film have their own the stick. the paper said a lot of people saw flying saucers. Don't you know it? They are all made up stories. But, Mother! Stop it. Study or you cannot enter a good school. That made no sense. Perhaps if I study, Mother, I'll be able to talk in complete sentences without pausing like you. Understand. The telescope. Hey, the telescope. Poor boys. Telescope. I wonder the telescope. where they are now. Move to the telescope. All right. Looks like the Lego moon base. It looks so real. Rubbles, reach out and step on it. like one of those magic growing crystal sets. You mean the 
Oh, look at they woke up in each other's arms. Sort of. Mm. Hey, Tom, Tom. We're somewhere, I guess. Wake up, round eye. Akio, we're safe. Are you all right? I'm okay. Hey, look, the hatch is open. And there must be air in here. Look, we're all right without any space clothing on. I wonder if we're back on Earth again. Oh, well, let's go out and see. Perhaps it was all a horrible dream. What, does this happen every day to these kids? Akio, I wonder where we are. We're not on Earth. That's we're in the land of black and white. Mars or Venus? No, Mars or Venus doesn't have any atmosphere like we have on Earth. Lucky the atmosphere saved us. This must be a big star. And there are stars like Earth, and we are the first who found a new star. That's right. Wait, be careful. We were brought over here by remote control, and we have to watch out. Now look at you, did. Plastic kids. Would have worked too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Oh no! Yeah. So there's one here. Ghost. But it's in different color. So it must be a space kiosk. A space kiosk. I think we're reusing some uh, monster parts here, guys. Amazing what you can do with a can of chem tone paint. Yes, I do. Look. I don't think the makers of these movies were counting on the evilness of Dr. Earhart and Forrester to show these in a series of seven movies in a row. What? Applause for the show. Yet. He is not happy. It's Betty Davis. I heard she's difficult to work with. Looks kind of like a you are on acid. He's trying to flag in a flight. You're on acid. You are on acid. From Winnie the Pooh? By LSD Mildy. Oh, oh, God. Golly. That's so fast. He thinks that's funny. He doesn't have a leg to stand on. Oh, that's a lame joke. They can call him Eileen now. He's <laughs> hopping, man. And I went out on a limb for that one. This kid is trying to run away. I don't think so. He's trying to attack from behind. Maybe oh. the kid should help him. Give him a leg up. He doesn't move at all. <laughs> He's a lonely, sad monster. What is he oh, supposed to be? Oh, flying low. A flying staple remover. Gee, golly. Ugh. He's not very aerodynamic anymore, is he? He can fly in a circle now. Oh, buffalo wings. Buffalo wings for a year. Buffalo wings, would you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Oh, man. A filet. It's wow. nearly a flesh wound. Oh, no. Come on. Oh. Maybe I'm not dead ventrilo- yet. Maybe he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> Oil can. Guess that means he's dead. I said thinly sliced. There you go. That's better. Trim the fat. Extra big portion. It's a Ginsu monster. <laughs> can cut through a tin can and still slice, slice through gauze like a knife oh, through hot butter. The place where it came from. Now let's get out of here. 
out of here. I can't watch this. I think I'm getting sauce. hungry. Hydro filter in a vertical position, uh, lift it approximately one half meter from your work surface. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Gypsum up. Periscope. Okay. Good job. Uh, let's see. Align flange TDC mark with unit markings. Uh, okay. Well, that looks about right. Uh, now hold unit securely with one hand while twisting the cervical collar with the other. I love it. Whoa. Uh. Oh. oh, Gypsy, what have you done? Oh, uh. oh, wow, hey, what the, uh, I'm on Earth. This is the control room of those two mad doctors. I wonder what's on the screen. Hi, I'm Dr. Lawrence Earhart. Please help us, we're trapped in space, please. Welcome to the Satellite of Loathe. I'm Dr. Clayton Forrester. Once again, we've got another movie for you, and... What oh, is it? my God. Oh, no! Yes, I'm no. Lawrence. Uh, once again, we're showing <laughs> the Planet of the Apes Christmas. <laughs> oh. I wonder if Mr. Crow, in his infinite wisdom and kindness, might send us a different movie this week. <laughs> Keep your smack on, you shirt-breathed idiot, or I'll suck all the air out of your ship. <laughs> Sorry, Crowboy. And no cute names either, you soft-boiled egghead. Mr. Crow? Mr. Crow? You forgot to call us dickweeds. 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 Crow? Dickweeds. Crow? Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Crow, are you okay? Oh, oh. Uh, why, why, I don't know. I was, I was having this strange dream, and... Dr. Earhart and Dr. Forrester were in the Satellite of Love, and only it wasn't, it was the Satellite of Loathe. Sure, oh. sure, yeah, that's okay. That's all right, buddy. We gotta go to a commercial now, I think. Got a bad taste in my mouth. What's happening on this planet anyway? I'm not quite sure. But I think we're on a highly civilized star. Moving instantly. That's great. Hmm. Okay, let's investigate some more places. Whoa. I almost fell off my feet there. Boy, it's great. I don't think we're in Tokyo anymore, Toto. Everybody's here, I guess. Hey! Anybody out there? Yes, Please answer! You hear? They won't understand our language. You know. Why not? You understood their spaceship. What if goblins come? What should we do? Don't worry. Akio, Akio, help me! Huh? Step off the conveyor belt. One, look. It's a moving car. I see. 
Let's get on it. Okay. Everybody's gone surfing. It's Alan Funt. In another form. We think the joke will be on them. I think that it should stop right there. It's two more of us. Aliens filled with hate. And a tape on fast forward. Those are George Lucas's Jawas without the hood. It's wonderful. Maybe this is the control center. Mm. Maybe this is the control center. What else is it going to be? Cool. Space women. Another space babes. Another scantily clad space babe. They do a lot of aerobics in space. Actually, anaerobics. Can you tell us where we are? Uh, obviously, you're in Japan. Can you tell us who you are? Japanese actresses. Can you tell us why you're wearing those jammies? I see. They can't understand our language. People from the future are so smug. You know that? They think they're so great. They think they're so superior. We were waiting for you to come. Hey, how come you can speak our language all of a sudden? Look, this speaking machine translates all kinds of languages. Oh, boy. Even dolphin? I believe science has advanced here like more than on Earth. sounds like she's from Macon, Georgia. Yes, so. Please tell us, what star are we on? How far are we from the Earth? We call the star Terra. It's on the opposite side of the Earth where you are living. Exactly like the Earth with the sun between. Same size and moving like the Earth. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell us that it's like a twin star then? I wondered if there was such a Some star... Some of us would call them planets. I see, Tom. On the other side of the sun... Wow, bad breath. They never see each other. I wonder why. Akio, this is a big discovery. Right. So the planets of the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus, Earth. Neptune, Pluto. That's nine planets all together, and Terra makes the tenth. That's right. Brilliant. That also makes you 183 million miles from Earth. Barbella, it's so noisy. Let it out again. Yes. Is your name Miss Barbella? Right. And it means as sweet as a little bird. And I'm Florbella. It means pretty as a flower. Where are the Why others? Why do you then? just call yourself pretty as a flower then? Ah, Akio, look, it's the same as before. It's funny that the water is running backwards. It's against the laws of gravity. Over here, we control the laws of nature. Oh, well, what a superior civilization. You know, I looked at my telescope every day. And I thought there'd be a perfect planet without work and wars and traffic accidents. And I've been believing it up to this day. Maybe they can fix your voice now. It's that monster again. That's our watchdog, Giran. And we can control it the way we want to. Look, Eos is running. Can you tell me you can why see there are monsters shoes. in such a civilized place like this? I'll tell you what. In our world, it, it was a well-advanced society. We could even control the laws of nature with electronic brains. But a mix-up in the computer brought calamity. And also, it made uncontrollable monsters, too. Is that so? We sent out messages for help 
several times. But we received no answer at all. So, that must have been the way that Dr. Shige was talking about. Hmm. So those alive got on a big spaceship to find another star to live on, but it fell. So only we two are left. But we found out that a small spaceship was still working, and when we called it back, you two were on it. I see. We can only live here, on this space base, right now. Take a look. It will be getting colder from now on. Within five hours, it will be bound in by glaciers. I wonder if she can get HBO on Arbella? that cat. The UHF antenna to pick up TV-23. Over here. That used to be a city a very long time ago. I think I'd like that. Right now, it's the monster's home. You two, let's go back to the Earth together. Otherwise... Thanks. We'll check the ship and go. Before it freezes over here. I'm guessing they have some really evil intentions right? behind those tinfoil hats. I think their hats are screwed on too tight. Just a wacky If hunt, only Gamera right. could be here. I think Gamera is looking for us. There's a restroom above the control center. Take a rest while we repair the ship. All right. And figure out how to kill you. Oh, great sauna bath. With vapor Takes action. a lot of weight off. Florbella, the ship only holds two. We don't have any room for the two boys. I boys. know. And don't worry, because we still have enough time yet. Before that, I'll check if they are poisonous or not to eat. If not, we will make them our rations. Go and go and check the ship. There is probably room for oh, them in filet really form. I wonder if we can really go home. Don't worry. The girl said we can go as soon as the spaceship is repaired. I know, but... Won't they be surprised to see such groovy space girls when we get over there? Groovy space girls? Right, Akio? Those weren't grooves, there were wrinkles. Akio? What's the matter? It's quiet, I'm being analyzed for food. That's funny. <laughs> wonder who's got more calories, though, you know? Now, my boy. You have to answer my questions now. Yes. If you eat the Japanese one, you'll be hungry an hour later. Tell me, what would you like the most right now? To be out of this film. Come on, don't be shy. I want a Lassi movie. What's the matter? I want Come to on. direct. Answer me. I see you're hungry. So I want snails. Wish we had cards like that on the ship. I'll fix you something, but answer my question. Work on it. It's ready. Is it hurting you? No, it feels nice. I see. Akio, what's the matter, Akio? I know exactly how he feels. Akio! 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 Akio!
Hot to you, too. Take that naughty kid. You knew about Gius before. But are there many monsters on Earth like you? Not now. Gamera got them all. What is Gamera? You said it's looking for you. Come on. Tell me. Come on. Gamera it is. My lips are sealed. Children. A friend of children? Yes. He hours and years. When we need it. On time. A long time ago, we saved the child in Hokkaido. He knocked on Gears, and Gears tried to eat the children. Kenny! Really, it's fitting that this is the last Gamera movie, recapping all the great moments in the other Gamera films. Gamera history. I remember back in the days when Gamera was the enemy of all Japan. Those were the days. Well, even a monster can change his tune. I can name that last two movies. Three movies. Two movies. Name that monster. Cows. Got me. When Barnes tried to attack the earth, he saved the lives of the two boys also. Bad dog, bad, bad dog. Camera was really just copying Pop the Magic Dragon. He really puts up with a lot because he loves those kids. Little Ankyo Paper loved that rascal on camera. I'm sure you stopped suddenly moving. I'm sure of it. You know, I had a feeling that I ate a lot of mother's donuts at that time. Your mother's donuts are really good. Hey, that's no way to talk. Your hey. mother's donuts. I'm going to go see how Gypsy's doing. Yeah, let's get going. I'm thirsty. All right. How about the ship? It's okay. We can leave any time. That's good. Prepare some food according to the instructions of this card. And use sleeping powder. Sleeping powder? Right. And we can't waste any time. Because while they are sleeping, we'll eat their brains raw. You mean their brains? All their knowledge, which is given to them, is stored up in their brains. And we can use this knowledge when we go to the Earth for our plans. It's the same thing, like the bacteria over here who became the higher animal. I see. You know, on that last sequence, I had the weirdest dream. I, I dreamed I was the evil robot scientist and Dr. Earhart and Dr. Forrester were the ones stuck in space. You know, that Crow, that's impossible. Robots can't dream. Yes, we do, Joel Hodgson. I consistently dream about being in a tropical South Sea Island with naive native girls fanning me and rubbing me with coconut oil and mango juice all over my little body. 
Listen, that's not a dream, Servo. That's a fantasy. Well, well, I dreamed I was a hillbilly uh, who was out looking for some food when up through the ground came a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Uh, Crow, that's uh, not a dream. That's a rerun. Well, I dreamed that a stupid, young, inexperienced, bumbling senator from Indiana gained access to the White House just because of his rugged good looks. Oh, uh, that's not a dream either, uh, Servo. That's a nightmare. Boy, this human dream stuff is really difficult to understand. Oh, we got movie, movie sign. Started. This is when the nightmare began. See on the other side. Good afternoon. I came to pick up Tom. Hello, Elsa. Hello. Thank you for keeping him... Thank you again. Not at all. Sorry to say, but uh, Tom went out with Akio and they haven't returned. I oh, think, look. Where did they go? Another round eye. Tom gonna know about it? No. And there's no use to ask her. They told her not to tell. She only speaks nonsense about space. You said space? Yeah. And Tom said that he wants to stay with us much longer. So he must have run away knowing that you're coming to pick him up. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, but I'm your sure son's 183 did. million miles away with his brain about to be eaten. If you wouldn't mind, he can stay much longer. Thank you. If you wouldn't mind, please, let him stay. Elsa, please drop in for tea. Thanks, but I'm in a hurry. I see. Thanks, but I prefer coffee. Now go back to your own country. I'll see you then. Take care of yourself. I doubt it. Little girl in the back seat. Boom. Hello. Why, Tomoko? They really want to wear in a spaceship. Tomoko, can you tell me more about it? Yes. And she's a ventriloquist too. Please help us. What? Hurry, hurry. What, what happened? Kondo, Kondo. Kondo, 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 Kondo. This. I hope these people will be more careful. Try bending your legs when you run. It makes it so much easier. Shin splints. American Aerospace Bureau announced that flying saucers were all made up stories, you see. Not often you see a dirt hill with steps. So, Tomoko, please, tell us the right story. But I'm not lying, and I saw it with my own eyes. The Tomoko, cop's gonna shoot her. Don't you know what the Apollo spaceship man said? He doesn't, I will. That Earth is the only oasis in space. There are no living things elsewhere. And no spacemen either. But Akio and Tom went to the spaceship. But it wasn't alive. Oh See, I proved God. my point. You believe me, don't you? Well, yes. I... I believe you. You're a good girl. You wouldn't lie. I'm sure you wouldn't lie. I'm sure that you're a good girl. Okay? I'll find your brother. But you wouldn't lie. Okay? And she's a good girl. Observatory. Thank you, Cork John. Cork John? Tell With rice. Me, are you taking a child's word? Ask the observatory. But please. Uh, what do you mean, idiot? I'm surprised you believe such attractive. stories. I'm sure the kids must be playing around this area. Why don't you send a patrol out and find them? Of course them? I will. But first you. Are you sure? Yes. You know that yourself. That pretending to believe them is bad from an educational standpoint. But can't you understand how serious Tomiko is about all this? Forget it. Mother! 
I can't forget such wooden dialogue. A lot of good acting in that scene. Whoa. Off the deep end. She's come from the Miss Hathaway School of Glamour. It's brain time. Gurgling brains. Brain pudding. The rich taste of brain. Mmm, and they're, toast. They're probably feeding them fish, because fish is brain food. Here you are. Hungry. They say that oat brain is good for cholesterol. Mm. Oh, boy. My favorite donut really looks good. Look. They're just like my mother's donuts. Please. Please eat them. I'm saying Thank you in very the much. brain. Wait a minute. What? No salad? I didn't see any cows. I Let wouldn't drink the salad. I'll kill. I thought I heard Gummer coming. Huh? In the vacuum of space, hardly think so. Have some faith, bro. I bet Carl Sagan doesn't like these films either. I didn't hear them. Must have been my imagination. Come on, let's see. That's what the women are saying. Come on, let's eat. Donuts! Don't eat those donuts, says Gamma. They're baked fresh this morning. That wasn't milk. Eee, <laughs> e, what is that stuff? Hydraulic fluid. Like the witch in Hansel and Gretel. Batten them up first. Take time to breathe while you're eating that donut, kid. That's funny. He's okay, dead. What's the matter? Get these Wake kids up. on a mega sugar buzz before you eat their brains. And the couch turns into a Weber grill. Sleeping powder is taking effect. Come, get ready. New Deep Brainer by Ronco. Takes the brains out of any child. Them's good eating. Got a spoon? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Well, you gotta shave them. had a stunt kid go in to get his head shaved. Here and remove the skull. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Whoa, nick of time. My dad gave me haircuts like that. That's kind of the antithesis of a bull. I was a diode. That's the antithesis of a bull haircut. That's right. You know. Just leave the sideburns, please. It's Gamera. They said he's a friend of the children. I wonder if he's here to help those kids. Something else to worry about. That's all right. Let's take care of it first. Let's go get brains. Because parts is parts. Regular or extra crispy.
have the monsters fight each other. Let's gear it out. Should be about a five-point landing. Oh, oh, he hadn't counted on a shell. Hard and crunchy on the outside, outside, soft and meaty on the inside. Neat. In water, he makes a terrific gravy. Mm. Gravy turtle. Oh no. Oh, not my <laughs> hand. Oh no. Helicopter rides. They're playing monster. Don't yawn, Gamma. Oh, there goes Mac the Night. Come on, Dart. He's between a rock and a hard place. That's right. Maybe he's trying to sharpen his head. He thinks it's a giant Rolo. I think he keeps pretty sharp with all his reading and yoga exercises. That lid could just close all the way. What? Ouch. Oh, 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 ouch. Oh, man. Ooh. If Gamera's fangs grow any longer, he'll poke an eye out. He's crying. Mmm. Rich taste of snow. He's no dummy. Oh, oh. Where'd those things come from, Alex? His skull. That's just got to be the worst thing that could happen to the genetic mutation. Gotta admit, he's a cut above the rest. Anyway, you slice it. <laughs> to call it the bathoscope. There's one in France. I don't think we can get it here in an hour, though. He's dead. That's good. <laughs> oh, that's oh. not funny at all. So, Terry brains, Mathers. Brains? Brains? Mock him for having his head shaved. <laughs> Make a wish. Akio, what happened? Rub the Buddha. Help! Help! Bad haircut. Help! Bad haircut. Bad edits. Bad edits. Those kids are out. Wait. It's funny. There's something wrong. Gomer put the spaceship out of order. That's the only ship we've got left. If it won't last off, they won't. Anyway. Let's see the kids later, and let's fix the spacecraft first. Her voice sounds like something from a Tide commercial. I could not believe the way my clothes had come out. It's awful. Akio, Akio, Akio. Make a wish. Pull him out of the box by his head. Okay. It hurts. What happened to my hair? There's no time for that. Those girls were cannibals. What? They were not they fixing ate my hair? for us to go back to Earth. They were to go eat the people. Come on, let's run away. But my head. Here, wear this. Thank God. Now no one will recognize him. Hurry, hurry. Shouldn't they try to damage something in the ship before they go? The roulette wheel on top. Bare brains. 
the brain bin. Tom, wait a minute. Tom, where are those kids over there? They're trying to run away. Now they know about us, I guess. No, we can't let them get away. Stop them, I must eat that little boy. You don't think you can get away? Hey, what happened? We're back again. Let's run. Let's explain. Run! Akio, how did you do that? I pushed the reverse button. <laughs> hey! Press the reverse button. <laughs> We've only been on this planet for less than an hour and we already know everything about it. Stuffing this back to back. Uh oh. No rice? Switch. It's a giant rotisserie for kids. Well, they'll cook more evenly this way. I wouldn't want to be a Japanese gyro. Not for no reason, not for no how. They're Japanese. Wouldn't they eat them raw? Ew. Even she's sad. I wonder, where did they go? They even have the police worried. If they come back, I'll spank Tom. Thirty times is punishment. I'm very sorry. It's not your fault. I hope they return safely. <laughs> Where's that little girl? Ah, oh, that's her. Tomo, go over there. Okay, Tomo, go. Tomo, come on here. Come here. Tell us about that spaceship that uh, you the saw, right? Come on, tell me. The entity in the universe. Who are you? Oh, are you Akio's mother? The observation report said that a spaceship flew up near here this morning. We received a report from the police, too. So we want to make sure about, about the boys. Oh, no. Elsa, it seems to be true. Tomoko? Can you tell us the story, okay? So, where did the spaceship go then? Ah, uh, we don't know. People said that it flew very fast and disappeared down the sky. And we only know about the mysterious waves that we caught. Tomoko, come on. Let's talk. Come on, come on. Come on, tell us. Come on. Is it round? Did it look like a rocket or something like this? Yeah. Come on, you saw it. You sure you saw it, right? Come on, tell us. Push the 
snooze button. Oh, yeah. Tom, have you got the pistol? Yeah, I got it. Listen, shoot it at that switch. Oh, I see. Okay. I missed it. That's too bad. How many bullets do you have left? Three more. Leave it to me. to die. What do you dream about, Joel? What do I dream about? Yes, what do you dream about, Joel? Well, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I dream I'm back down on Earth and um, mm -hmm. walking around looking for fun, feeling groovy. Mm. Uh, some days I dream I'm a crane operator. Mm. Other times I'm standing in line for Metallica tickets. Mm. Then sometimes I dream about Sissy from Family Affair. Boy, learning to be a human is going to be a tedious affair. Humans can't live with them. You can't twist their necks 360 degrees. <laughs> Whoa. Take it easy. <clears throat> Take it Ow. easy, you guys. <laughs> well, what do you dream about, Gypsum? I dream about you, Joel. Just like you program me to. Oh, brother. Oh, oh we got movie let's, style. Let's use it. Oh. Green is coming here. It's the end. We'll be killed. Help! 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 Help us! Sorry, I was offloading. Maybe if you give up your brains, I'll let you live. What does a turtle respond to more than anything? Rubbing it on the belly. That's right. Running over the car. Styrofoam bricks can really. Uh, not styrofoam 
otherwise you'd be making that high-pitched squeaking noise. He's not all right. Look at his haircut. Look, wonder if he's jacking up his rates, too, now. He's confused, though. They're bringing in a stunt camera now. Bring in the double. Yara! Yara! Get him! Kill him! See what that camera? The next monster is a bottle opener. And he tries to take his shell off. All right! Nice jump! A success! This monster even looks like a guy in a suit. He's got other heads in the back, in his back, you know, kind of like a Swiss Army monster. Cool. Like, first he would cut him up and then he'd fork him. Yeah, and he had a toothpick no in there. And... Come on, let's check for potion. It's no good up front. Then he'd fork himself. It's a pile driver. Oh! A total mockery of everything that monster holds dear. This should be on the wrestling show. No strings attached. about this one in Turtle Digest. He got a bronze medal for this, didn't he? In Munich? Okay. The triple reverse. And stand. Now nice. his dismount. The giant Sukahara. Oh, he didn't, yes. he didn't do a release move. The judges will penalize him on this one. The kids seem to like it. Uh-oh. German judge didn't like it at all. He's doing disco yeah, dancing. He's dancing go go. No. He's trying to get rid of those metal things. He can't pull his feet in with them. They're riffing on their own movie. I'm sure these Japanese people can dance, but they can't lip sync. I said I can't find it. And that's the name of that too. Ah, we'll get killed. Gamera can't make it either, so this is the end of us. It makes me mad. If we only had a weapon, I get that Korean. Akio, wishful thinking is no good. Wait. Surprises me. The Gamera is still alive. Fourth floor notions. Menswear. Spandex. Giant bird cages.
It really makes me mad. This will be the last way. I'll get them this time. Whoa. Substantially better. But it was the right switch, of course. Who? Who? How was that? It's that monster's head. Oh, no, it's not. It's a rocket. Akio, maybe it's that weapon you've been looking for. Akio, it's a missile. Right. This must be the switch. Six-year-olds and nuclear weapons, a combination that just can't be beat. Be the first on your block to be the last on your block. Steak knife. this picture. Find out after this coming commercial message. back through deep space. They can ride in his colon. Oh, he's reassembling the spaceship. Look, Donna is repairing the spaceship. A breath welder. Tom, Donna is waiting. Okay. He must eat a lot of radishes. It's so real. 
really do hope they read those. It's really... It's really neat. Camera is filled with beef. Camera. Up, up and away, my beautiful flying turtle balloon. This album is available in the lobby. He's generous to a fault, you know. But what else is a giant flying, mutated, fire spitting turtle going to do except for... Well, get a job at McDonald's. True. Doing what? Being the grill. True, but... They've hired worse. I think they should carve them up and make sunglasses for Mount Rushmore. Just an idea. Is there anything wrong? They can make Tara McTune make great big headphones for that chief Cherokee in their building. Joe? Crazy horse? Crazy horse, yeah. Sega speaking. What? That's ridiculous. I can't believe it. Nope, you have one more scene in the film. Doctor, I saw Gamma in our telescope. What? He's holding the ship in his mouth. Society. Gamera mania. <laughs> it's almost unbelievable. The Not the real flying turtle, but exactly an incredible simulation. Here. It's pretty hard to believe. You better believe it. Well, I hope Tomoko is right. <laughs> Hit him. Gentlemen, right at please believe Tomoko's story. You know, Gamera is a good friend of hers. Yes. Conchon. They do stuff together. They go to ball you. games. Eat hot dogs. That's okay, Tommy Cole. Really Cross cities. Where's the place? On top of the hill. Thank you. Why, you must be the two boys' mothers. Yes. I'm Akio's mother. I'm glad to know you. Uh, it's unbelievable, but... Gomer is heading this way with a spaceship in his mouth. What? Look, that's not very sanitary. His mouth. Look, it's Gamera. Look. Look. Yeah, that's right. It's Superman. No, it's Underdog. No. Complain. No. Unfortunately, Demeron sets the ship down on a small girl. really should have believed our children. I think so. From now on, we know. Brother, Are you all right? We have been so worried. I'm okay. Hey, your glasses. My glasses? It's all right. You know, when I'm happy with my glasses, they always come down. That kills me. Oh, brother. He's happy his glasses fall down. I know. Get a life. Are you really okay? But listen, Akio, you have made everybody worry. Mother? Ma'am? He's angry. His underwear bunched up in his butt. We're awfully sorry. Hey, Akio, you shaved your head before I could do it, huh? The spacemen, they shaved it off. Women. 
Is that right? Listen, listen. Huh? Conchon, there are spacemen too, like you. Right, Conchon? Akio, <laughs> come. Oh. Hey, Dr. Shiga, we discovered a planet and saw space people too. We thought that there were civilized, peaceful planets. More than the Earth where we are living now. But, as a result, I like Earth best. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shiga, we belong to the Earth. And we should forget about the other planets. Let's make the Earth a free place to live. Without war and traffic accidents. For the sake of the human beings. And learn by it. Oh, and make it safe for good haircuts. That was haircuts. a very good experience. Yes, sir. Better dental hygiene. Even Gamma agrees with that. Goodbye, Gamera. Okay, Gamera. Let's do the Gamera twist. Gamera, we believe in Gamera. It's on the blink. Let's sing that song. Oh, 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 oh satellite of love. Oh, 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 satellite of love. Boom. Oh, 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 satellite of love. Satellite of love. Ow, I feel good. Ow. Like you Suck it to me. <laughs> Thanks, That's everybody, for you. coming in and joining Please. us tonight on uh, Satellite of Love. And um, let's see, Kent, do your survey, and um, we'll get Kent. the results on that. Kent's working on a survey on Earth for us. And, new uh, movie next week. New movie. Yeah, and we got a new movie happening next <laughs> week, I think, for sure. No more Gamera. I think that ought to do it. Good night, folks. <laughs>